Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make this type of bag. This I am using it only for the reference purpose. I just uh, saw this on net. This is not what I have done. I am just showing it to you for the reference. Let's see what all the materials we need. Main thing, we need a fusible canvas. This is called feasible canvas. This is a bit thick. See one side, you can see the shiny part. This is uh, adhesive. Once you heat it up with the iron box, it gets stick to the cloth. One side, it will be smooth. The other side, this is a shiny part. This, this will have the gum. This I am using it to strengthen the cloth. And for the main body, I will be using this denim cloth. This is of medium weight and for inside I am using the contrast red color. Maybe and because of the light it is uh, looking like orange color but this, this is a very nice red. And I will be using two zips, one for outside pocket and one for inside pocket. And these are options actually, I am using uh, for uh, D-ring one small d-ring and one swivel hook and to fix these d-rings with the handle I'll be using these rivets these are the rivets I think I'll show you in single piece it looks like this And, and for cutting, I'll be using measuring tape, measuring tape, marker and a set square. This is a grid square and scissor. Uh, for making bags, you better use a set square because that gives a nice uh, uh, 90 degree uh, angle so I prefer using a set square for all uh, back purpose and now I'll sh I'll give you the measurements for the bag what all we need what measurements we need and how many pieces you can also see those measurements in the description box okay now I have already cut the pieces this is two pieces 14 by 17 these I'll be using it for main body uh, you can say outer body two pieces of 14 by 17 and two pieces for lining cloth that is 13.5 uh, by 17 they're all in two pieces Then for inside pockets, for back pocket, one uh, outer pocket will be there and one inside zip pockets will be there. For that, 10 by 16, two pieces. Then one more, uh, I have cut 13 by 8 in measurement. This I will be using it for partition of the bag. I will show you here how the partition, see this, this is the partition in, inside the bag maybe you cannot see it clearly in, because this is also black this I'll be using it as for partition so to keep your mobile or whatever and inside one zip uh, pocket will be there and outside also one zip uh, pocket will be there and uh, this is called this this particular portion this is called top panel for this we will cut two pieces of top panel that measures uh, 2 inch by 17 we need two pieces and then uh, this is zip panel so we will be making a zip panel like this it, it's in a box shape actually I think in this bag you will be able to see it uh, properly yeah 
this we have to prepare a zip pan for this I need four pieces measuring 1.5 inch by 13 inch I need four pieces of that these are for zip panels zip panels four piece top pieces two one for uh, pocket portion and one for uh, two uh, for uh, zipper pockets that is 10 by 16 this is 13 by 8 for uh, partition uh, pockets and uh, two for lining that is 13.5 by 17 and two for main body that is 14 by 17 and for handles you can make plain handle like this without any uh, d-ring or uh, any other rivets it's a simple handle in a cloth itself you can make that or using d-rings and rivets you can make this type of handles too this adds a little more uh, beauty to it so uh, for that handles the measurement is 5 by 38 inches I need two pieces of this this I have taken in a paper canvas because uh, my material is denim it is a bit thick already and again if I fold into four lines then it becomes too thick if I give a cloth canvas that's the reason I am giving paper canvas for only for the handles and if you have chosen very thick material for uh, bag making then you don't have to give a cloth canvas you can uh, better give a paper canvas uh, since uh, I'm using denim it's of medium weight I'll be using cloth canvas for that and everybody keep asking what is the measurement of the bag how much you have used and you know give me the pattern or draft for it see my suggestion for that is like you don't go by the measurements you will learn the technique of making a bag then according to your requirement you have to choose your measurements it's not that you have to copy somebody you just learn the technique even now I'm showing you uh, these are the measurement I'm just showing you for the reference purpose it's not necessary that you have to follow the same measurements you can choose whatever measurements you want you can make it uh, taller bag you can make it even more width or you can even make it a small bag it's totally up to you but the technique you just see you you can even make the variations in it it's not uh, uh, mandatory that you have to follow whatever I show you here only learn the techniques and adopt that according to your method so now what we do take a main cloth Uh, lining or main cloth whatever pieces you need just place this feasible canvas on the cloth river side of the cloth then press it with a heated iron box now in this pattern there is a box split here in the middle and the down part as well so what we do for this pattern I'll be using one piece of red cloth in this with 14 by 17 and one piece of this outer body jeans what we are seeing here this I will make it in denim for this you just can use directly one layer of it or if you want uh, you can give one more layer of uh, lining if you have more uh, cloth and when you cut this part you just have to finish that with the bias if you are using single uh, layer if you are using double layer fuse together both the layers put a stitch and then you know turn it out I will be using two layers for this uh, for this um, pattern for box pleated thing for that what I take this is 14 by 17 
for box pleat I'll be adding 8 inches in the width see you can see it clearly here if I just put a press on it this much cloth extra I have taken I don't think the camera angle you can see that yeah this much of extra cloth I have taken why because I want to adjust this extra cloth this I have taken 8 inches extra I have to adjust this in a box pleat see for this what is the measurement I have taken 25 by 14 this is 14 by 17 so in width I have added 8 inches for a box pleat so it becomes 17 plus 8 25 so I have taken 25 in width and height remains the same one piece of main fabric and one piece of lining fabric I'll be taking from this corner mark 5 inches and down 5 inches just give a arc shape here then cut this for both side this you don't have to add any uh, canvas or paper canvas so I'm just showing it like that on the cloth so take it in a double fold it 5 inches here 5 inches here give a shape cut it out then place it on the lining cloth put a stitch turn it I will show you in my next part how I do that okay now take your main fabric keep it properly press it and all the pieces what you have cut here we have to do it one piece I'll be using it for back of the bag one piece I will do it in 14 by 17 and another piece for the design purpose show you yeah for the design purpose one piece I'll be taking this yellow part what you are seeing that I will keep it red and outer part I keep it black denim and this band you can do it in red part or in a denim or even a contrast I'll be doing it in a denim so it measures 17 inches by 3 inches this putty that one piece you have to cut you don't add any uh, paper canvas or cloth canvas to that we just keep it just as it is the cloth that is 3 inches by 17 inches one cloth piece okay fine let's start I will just press it to the uh, cloth and come back one piece in denim one piece in lining cloth this 14 by 17 and rest a lining cloth I'll be doing it in red and uh, pockets also pocket you can choose if you have more cloth of lining you can use but I I just have a one meter of a cotton cloth lining so I don't think it is uh, sufficient for me so I'll be using some other cloth for zipper pockets it's totally up to you you can use the same cloth you can use whatever cloth you wanted just see to that it goes well with a pocket when you open it you get a nice look so these two I'll be doing in uh, this particular cloth for zipper pockets and one partition that I want to do it in red cloth itself so wherever you want uh, red cloth I mean the lining cloth and use your cloth canvas accordingly top panel and the zipper panels I'll be doing it in denim itself so that goes well with the design and I don't want to make it completely red to look so and denim is also very sturdy so bag will have more strength anyway I have chosen lining is a cotton so I don't want to use it uh, more of uh, thin cotton so I prefer using denim itself everywhere so I will iron it and come back this is for this uh, part 
and in next part i'll show you how to make zipper pockets and how to make uh, zip panels and how to attach that to the lining fabric everything i'll show you but for this part only this thing we'll see you in next part on how to make zipper pockets see you soon